A DeSoto woman is angry that no one called 911 when her autistic foster son received a severe gash on his head at school. And so she came to us with pictures of the injuries and questions about whether anyone would be held accountable. Fox Wars' Lori Brown took those questions to district administrators. Lori. Steve, the district won't tell us much, citing privacy laws, but a spokesperson does say they review all incidents and make changes if necessary. But the foster mom is frustrated because even she, as the child's guardian, can't get any answers. I have to tell you, my first response was, what the hell? When I got there, he was laying down. I looked at the surroundings. His shirt was full of blood, and there was blood, and they had taped the area. Bobby Williams says she was horrified by the head injury her 16-year-old foster son suffered at DeSoto High School. Because he's in the foster system, we're not showing his face. And because he's severely autistic, Williams says the boy can't tell her what happened. Oh, I have no more. They're all gone. Yeah, because it's lunchtime for him. Anyway. Uh -huh. mm. He's about like a um, 12 month old baby. He has to be fed. He has to be changed. This is a picture of the gash Williams took before it was treated. Despite how bad it looks, the school did not call 911. Instead, Williams got a call from the teacher. And she said that Mark Anthony had had a little accident and kind of bumped his head. Her words were he may or may not need stitches. Williams took the child to emergency care. He said, well, we've got to stitch this up right away. So we had to hold him and they put four staples in his head. The school's incident report says the boy was injured while flipping his chair over backwards, hitting his head on a supply cabinet while secured with a gate belt. Williams believes that means he was tied to the chair. She wants to know why and if he was properly supervised. But after asking the superintendent, administrators, principal, and school board members, Williams is not getting any answers. The only answer so far, it's under investigation. This happened August 26th. When do I get an answer? Williams says she is speaking out because this child cannot speak. If I don't protect him, he will not be protected. The school board president told me that while he cannot get into specifics, he says DeSoto ISD has taken the appropriate steps to address this concern. And this afternoon, the school called Williams to arrange a meeting. Under a new state law, parents can request cameras in classrooms of special needs students. Williams has now done that. Steve. Okay, Lori Brown, Dallas Newsroom, thank you.